Hey everybody, it's an exciting day for us today because we've started work at our house in Jerusalem. -Avo. As you can see, we've been taking off all the tiles on the roof. We had a lot of clearing to do first. Um, this is all overgrown, full of weeds. You can see we've cleared all that. Huge pile of rubbish there. I got three of my guys working with me today. Oh, and it was so hot. We were in the middle of August and um, started off in the mid 30s this morning, which was really hot for doing this. And there's a big storm rolling in right now. These old tiles are pretty good. They're in pretty good condition. Not gonna need to get many more. But yeah, you can see they've, uh, they've used some wonky old beams and they've stuck some wooden boards on top and then loads of mud from the garden on top of that. And we're hoping that this rain's gonna wash most of it off before tomorrow when we start stripping off all these planks. I'm sorry I'm not using the English technical terms. I know what they are in Bulgarian, we call them dus dusky. But I don't know what you call these boards, these roofing boards that we're using. <laughs> We've cleared a little bit inside the barn. Uh, you can see lots of light coming through. Look at this. So yeah, I've showed you all this loads of times before. Um, but yeah, this is the plan. Started digging out some ground here because we're going to have to build this wall up. And um, we were originally thinking that we could probably get away with um, just sort of a repair job on the roof. And now having taken a lot of stuff off and looked at it, I think we're going to take everything off. Put a concrete ring around the top, open up the doors and the windows, probably put a window in the back too because the views out the back are nice. And then probably just build a whole new roof and put the old tiles back on top of that. Anyway, I'm not going to speak too long because these guys need a hand. <laughs> so we've been pulling off all the boarding and uh, chucking it all down, making a pile. A lot of it's not so good, a lot of it's quite warped and bent and none of it's really cut straight. I guess it doesn't join up properly. I mean, if you have a little look at this. It's very rough cut, you know, no straight edges. So I guess that's probably why they completely plastered it in mud. And you can see this is what's coming down here. Started digging the trench yesterday for uh, where this is gonna get filled in. That's all full of mud. And yeah, all this uh, earth coming down from the roof and it's all going inside as well. And it's all right, we're gonna tamper it down inside. but. Then Mitko up there, pulling it off with crowbars and hammers. And yeah, you can see a lot that's falling down. It's mid to high 30s today, and it's so dusty. But it's exciting, slightly daunting, quite a lot of anxiety now that we've like actually started it. It, you know, we've met, I always say this with like a lot of the building work over here, you just go backwards so much before you go forwards. But yeah, the plan is the rest of the beams will come off tomorrow. All these beams will come off tomorrow. Strip it back to bare walls, build up this wall. I'm gonna fix this window, take out that wooden lintel and put concrete lintel in there. Same with the door. I'm gonna raise the door up a little bit so I've not got to duck my head to go through. Um, this is going to be a door into the music studio. So it's this, this end bit is going to be a recording studio. There'll be a separate door into there. And this will be open plan, living room, kitchen in here. In that corner there is going to be a bathroom. And then that's going to be a doorway that takes you through into the bedroom at the back. And yeah, there'll be a, have to put a wall up across here as well. Just on this side of that window, I'm turning into a door there. I'm going to wall all the way across, so that'll be the music room. You can see all this dust coming down, look at this, it's all the earth. I knocked a window out today, so we can sit here and look at the views. Stands, and this is where the sink's going to be, do the washing up. So yeah, dirty, messy, hot work. Super exciting though. What we're going to do is tap chicken wire into this with... Um, nails and uh, big washers and then throw loads of render at it. We have to make a few buttresses as well I think just as extra support. Started digging out here a little bit 
ground is absolutely solid. I've soaked it with water. Hopefully that'll be a bit easier tomorrow or later. It's flipping hot to be working and doing this sort of thing today, but <laughs> well, well, anyway, that's how it is. I uh, I just got him to. I had no idea how big that truck was going to be. It's massive. Just got in there. Uh, but one thing I've got him to do is dump a tunnel to. It's a mixture of sand and gravel, which I'm going to put underneath the floors, just to fill some space and level out some things. I'm going to tamp it down, but can't really tell where I'm standing right now. This, uh, this patch of the road that you've got to use to get down to us just turns into an absolute mud fast and this isn't really the right solution. But I'm hoping that it helps a little bit, maybe stops it getting so bad, thinking that in a couple months time, hard to believe on a day like today, it's so bone dry everywhere. When we're getting a bit of rain again, this could turn into mud. We need some proper gravel. Anyway, I'm gonna spread this over and then when they come with some pure gravel next week, we get them to dump another ton of gravel on top and hopefully that stops it getting too bad up here it needs a bit more than that it needs to scrape it out and fill in with stones but maybe one day first things first well i don't know what day we're on now day four day five feeling a little bit beat today we've got an absolute wreck of a barn it's turned from what was quite a lovely little barn in the garden to being an absolute wreck taking the rest of the roof off and uh, I just had a big delivery of uh, bricks today, some cement, some uh, metal reinforcements for the concrete rings and uh, I'll just show you quickly what's happened. The roof was really holding these walls together, look at this, huge crack down there. This isn't straight at all, this is all leaning. I just pushed this wall and it just fell over. So. I said, let's push these walls down. We're going to have to rebuild a lot more than I thought. I said, hang on a minute, I'm going to film it. Hi, D. Slosh. <laughs> Look at this. It's going to come straight down. Easy as that. Whoa! <laughs> and this back wall here, up until there. Yeah, there we go. That's coming down too. There we go. What have we done? What have we started? Oh, dust is getting in my eyes. That's going to be our bedroom, that is. Stiga, ash the rest of us, uh, what's this disc come on? Damn, all right, what was this again? What have we done? What have we done? I think this might be the end for part one. I thought it's going to be a video of the whole thing, but so much has happened already, so much more work than I thought. I think I'm going to call it part one. Stay tuned, I'm going to keep filming, make another video of this. Hard to believe, but I'm still. Keeping hopeful it's going to be a beautiful house one day.